Welcome to the late 90s PC gaming and today we're looking at Captain Crunch's Crunchling Adventure. I really have no idea how I got this. Um, I just, one day I was cleaning up and I was like, oh, look at that. It might have been a part of the mini bundle buys that I do. Usually when people have a lot of PC games, I'm like, uh, just give me a deal and I'll buy them all. And you never really know what you're going to find in those and I think that's where I got this. Uh, but yeah. Let's check it out. You're not going to get any game details on the back, just a couple of screenshots, and it's very hard to tell what's actually happening. Of course, you got the system requirements, and then, oh hey, all new AOL version 5.0, baby. Apparently, you get seven free email addresses. Using this disc, you get 250 hours for free for a month, so whatever comes first, either the month or the 250 hours. The disc just screams 90s. Try this disc on Windows 95 or 98. Also on this CD, America Online, baby. So most of the time I install games on Windows XP, but I got a feeling that since this is made with Macromedia, I might be able to get this to work on Windows 10. And sure enough, it works in Windows 10. Just got that white bar at the top, but it doesn't cover up anything crucial. So we're just gonna, you know, cover that up. This opening cutscene's like five minutes long, so I'm gonna sum it up. Some thieves came in and stole the Crunchium from the Crunchlings. Crunchium is the thing that makes Cap Crunch cereal so great, and the Crunchlings are the aliens that are living in the Milky Way or whatever. So you gotta raise your own little Crunchling to become a big baddie to take on the main thief to get the Crunchium back. So you pick a Crunchling of your choice, give it a name, and then you gotta keep it fed and happy while also training it. You get to feed it some good old Cap and Crunch and you pick from three flavors. Guess that's all they had in 1999. You got to train your Crunchling in speed, jumping, and strength. Each category has their own mini-game. There's the skateboarding thing, a jumping through a computer world thing, and throwing rocks at rocks thing. It's all very basic. I do like the computer level because it's the fastest, and it's quite fitting with the channel. Someone make me a poster of this. I want it in my game room. Now this is where the game gets annoying. Captain Crunch here has to introduce the level each time you select a category. The levels are the exact same. Every now and again a new obstacle is added, but it ain't like he states that. So you know what the level is. Why do you need it explained to you a million times? It bogs the game down. It makes the hour it took to beat this game feel like an eternity. Because you have to do the levels, come back, feed and pet your Crunchling, occasionally watch it grow and listen to Captain say whatever the heck he has to say, it's grindy. Each time you finish a level, the stats of the Crunchling increases by a tiny hair. So yeah, it's a grind. Now personally, I love grind-heavy games. Rogue Legacy, Dark Souls, RuneScape, Worm Unlimited, but this is just miserable. I'm used to games that require dedication and repetition to complete something or level up, whether it be farming XP or resources. These days I don't have much time for it, but I'd like to get back into something like that. But Crunchling Adventure is the bad kind of grind. I'm reminded of Ark. Progression is so slow, and I know the payoff isn't going to be worth it. It's not like you're watching your Crunchling grow. He has two, like, transformations, and that's about it. And when you play the minigames, you don't really notice the change in your Crunchling's behavior. The, the, pretty much the exact same. It's super basic and repetitive, but honestly, what did I expect coming out of something you got from a cereal box? Challenging the Thief is just, you know, the same minigame, just harder, I guess. So yeah, the payoff totally wasn't worth it. Once you win, you don't really get anything, and that's Captain Crunch's Crunchling Adventure. An hour of my life I won't get back, but definitely an interesting time capsule. Well, it's time for research, and apparently in my email I have some provided research. Provided by Stephen Bryant. Oh, so that's what the guy who takes up a part of our team page does. Guess I'll change it. All right, so Captain Crunch, this game was created after an ad campaign from 1985 called Where's the Captain? People would discover that answer after they collected three different items found in Captain Crunch cereal boxes. The initial answer was that Captain Crunch was in the Milky Way, but the question arose, why the heck was he there? This game was released to answer said question. Cam Crunch was helping the Crunchlings get the Crunchium back. The game released in 1999. The CD-ROM came with a two-box pack of cereal. It wasn't found in a single box or anything like that. You could order it through snail mail, though. Either way, you're looking at about 30 buckaroos. And let me tell you, I don't think this is a $30 game. I'd rather go back in time and pay for surface tension. At least it had a big box to look at. 
From Steven's research, I discovered a new word, advergaming. I had no idea advergaming was the term, but yeah, using video games to advertise a certain product, advergaming. What's funny is there's a change.org petition to get Cap'n Crunch national treasure status. The game does have a cult following, that's for sure, but only seven people signed this. Check out some of the sources in the description below to follow in Steven's footsteps. And honestly, that's about it. There isn't really much else to talk about this game. There isn't any controversies or troubles in development. It was a pretty standard company release to help advertise the product and move more cereal. With the upcoming release of Chex Quest HD, I'd imagine that eventually a lot of games like this might be revisited and re-released or something like that, or maybe there'll be a sequel. Who knows? Avergaming is still happening today. We don't see it necessarily as much, but they're still around. Well, that's it for this episode. <sighs> the game made me extremely bored. I think I'm going to take a nap, like my dog's doing right now. Look at this. I think I'll join her.